Hi guys, it's Lana here and in today's video we are going to clear up my period skin. There's like chemical warfare happening under the surface of my skin. The result is this. And when we got this guy over here, he's still brewing. I had a spot under my eye and that's never happened. This thing was painful because it was like right on my eye socket. That never happened. This, this never happened. This guy over here, he erupted. His little brother down here, well, same. They were both very unstable and they both burst, actually. So that was fun. I also had a whole bunch of black heads appear on my nose. Some of them even turned into like tiny white heads. And I was like, what the heck is going on there? And it may be because I went out for my friend's birthday in combination with starting my period. We were also drinking alcohol. I didn't take my makeup off. That's a bad combo. So all of this happened. Do you guys want to know the worst thing about all of this is that I am flying to Korea tomorrow. Well, I'm flying to Shanghai first and then I have a layover and then we're flying to Korea after that. It's, it's this whole thing. But anyway, I'm going to be in Korea by Wednesday. Everybody knows that Korea is the skincare capital of the world Bruh. and I really wanted to have clear skin by the time I went. So if you guys are also trying to recover from a breakout or if you are coming up to hormonal skin season, then let's clear it up together let's glow up together until next month when our skin decides to attack us again the first thing i'm gonna do is cleanse my skin i cleanse my skin every day anyway but especially in the hormonal time i just want to make sure that i'm not giving my skin the chance to let any more bacteria grow i find that when i'm having a hormonal time my skin produces even more oil and grease than it usually does and a dermatologist told me that when your skin is really oily that just leads to more bacteria being trapped in the skin which is what can lead to to acne breakouts. So I do try to cleanse my skin daily, even if I don't have makeup on, especially in a hormonal time. So I cleanse my skin with a gel cleanser because I find that to be the most gentle for my skin. I'd say my skin is combination oily. So you're gonna want to wet your face. So I'm taking this gel cleanser. This one is anti-blackhead. That helps me out a lot. So it unclogs pores and reduces the appearance of blackheads. It contains salicylic acid and it's specifically produced for oily to spot prone skin. So I take a gel cleanser are like this. I never take a lot. That much is fine. Use that in circular motions all over my face. So I just prefer this because it's not harsh. Like if I were to use a scrub right now or something with some sort of physical exfoliant like beads, that really irritates my skin usually and can lead to a lot more breakouts. It actually causes micro abrasions which can spread bacteria and lead to more breakouts. I used to think that if I was having a breakout I just needed to scrub and scrub and scrub my face. My skin hated it and I used to just get more and more breakouts. It's just fine. It's so gentle. And then when I'm done with this, I go and rinse it off. So that's what I'm going to do now. And then I pat my face dry with a towel. I wouldn't usually use this towel because it's just like terry cloth fiber. I would usually use a microfiber towel just because they're a lot softer. I just literally dab it on my face. You don't want to be pulling your face and stuff. Always be very, very gentle with your face, especially around your eye area. All right, now you see we have a lot of redness. Now I'm going on to face masks and I've literally been face masking every single day this week because I've been so desperate to make sure my skin is nice and clear for when I get to the land of clear skin. So my face mask that I have used the most this week is the Detox Mask by Teemi. This is Teemi Turn. So I know you guys probably know Teemi as in Teemi Blends Tea. They have advanced into the world of skincare. They are taking their green tea blends to your face. I'm here for it. I love it. I've used green tea masks before in the past and I really, really, really love what they do to my skin. So when Timmy reached out to me to send me this, I was like, can I have this? Can I have it? Can I have it? They agreed to send me one. I tried it out a few dozen times and then I was like, do you know what guys? I love this. And I asked them to sponsor the video and they said yes. So thank you, Timmy. So I just want to show you the mask. So we are going to catch this sucker right there. I get him. Oh yes, we got him. Who else we're gonna get? We're gonna get these guys. Oh yes, that's right, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, so hard to find. we got him. I don't know why I do my forehead last. I guess because the my forehead is the biggest area on my whole face. I have to mentally prepare myself to do my forehead. So while my face is drying, oh my gosh, this was not a good idea. It was my plan to tell you about the science of the mask while it was drying. Wait, stop the mother music. You, are you dumb? 
can't actually move my face that well. It's so hard to not laugh at myself. The mask contains matcha tea, bentonite clay and lemongrass. So out of the three main ingredients, one of them is matcha tea, which helps to pull out the toxins from your inflamed skin. It removes blackheads. The mask also has lots of antioxidants, which help to revive dead skin cells and fight free radicals in things like UV radiation and pollution. If you live in the city, like I sort of do, then you've got bentonite clay, which gives you a nice healthy glow. And the lemongrass is actually a natural brightening skin agent, which really helps to fight against that pigmentation that's left behind after the pimple has done its business and then leaves you with a, a hyperpigmentated scar. The mask itself is 75% organic and it's completely cruelty free. There is no animal testing in this mask, which I am absolutely so glad about. I need my products to be cruelty free. I feel like it's so easy to forget sometimes that cruelty still happens in makeup. So the mask is mostly dry now and with all these you never want to let it get completely dry to the point where it's stiff and hard and cracking. Now that my face is dry, and the thing is you never want to let your face get completely dry whenever you wash it, whenever you rinse it, it's always best to apply your moisturising products straight away, like don't let your skin get so dry that it starts to feel tight. So then what I do is I take a toner, this toner is from The Sanctuary, it's the Daily Glow Radiance Tonic, highly effective retexturizing toner with 5% glycolic acid, brightening vitamin B3. So I go ahead and I put this onto a cotton bud like this. And I wipe this all over my face. So toning your skin is a really essential step in my opinion because it really just allows your skin to absorb the next products with much more effectiveness. So then I usually go in with some hyaluronic acid. This one is the Hyaluronic Serum 200 from Evolve Organic Beauty. This is an amazing moisturizer. Not what I thought it was at all. I used to think hyaluronic acid was gonna be some sort of exfoliant or a peel just because it's got acid in the name. It's actually an emollient, which means that it draws in moisture to your skin. Next thing that I'm using is this AHA moisturizer. It's a balancing moisturizer and gentle exfoliant. And the exfoliant comes from the AHA ingredients. So AHA stands for alpha hydroxy acid, which means that it's gonna cause a tingling sensation all over your face. It's actually exfoliating your skin with the alpha hydroxy acid instead of with any sort of physical exfoliant. It's gonna to help to get rid of that dead skin. Let's turn over new skin. It's gonna help that fight that bacteria. It's gonna help make your skin look brighter, fresher, softer. Then I'm gonna take my V55 Max Strength Salicylic Acid Cream and I literally just take this onto my areas that I know are gonna be problem areas for me, specifically the spots that have already shown up. So that's this guy over here. We can plop this on there and also these guys. I'm sure these must be from the alcohol because these never show up usually. Blame it on the alcohol. How does that song go? It's definitely a blame it on the alcohol, A. Eh? Blame it on the alcohol, A. Eh? So the next thing is my anti-aging. So I've been taking this Olay Regenerist Overnight Miracle Firming Mask and I just put this on the areas that I'm gonna be worried about. Fine lines and wrinkles. So usually that's, for me, it's like right there on my forehead and down here by my cheeks and under my eyes. We're just gonna dub this in. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some oil just to seal all of this in. You know how we take oil onto our hair after we've put all of our products on? Because the oil really helps to like keep the moisture in because oil and water don't mix. So it's always a good idea to finish off a good moisturizing routine with some oil. So I'm gonna take this BD Trade Secrets. It's Beyond Skin Facial Oil. And I'm just gonna put this on my forehead, especially because I don't want that area to dry out. So there you have it. That is how I have been healing my period skin. And if you guys are going through it, then I'm here for you, sis. <laughs> Hi guys, so it's the next day and this is what my skin looks like. So it's literally been about 12 hours since I did my nighttime skincare routine. I have not done the morning version yet because I've been kind of busy because my flight is today. I just feel like everything looks a lot brighter. The redness has died down a lot. The blackheads are definitely starting to disappear. I feel like my skin is healing very quickly as well. Like these guys over here are starting to disappear. 
And overall, I'm just liking this routine, like this spot recovery routine, this breakout recovery routine. I also find that with the Teamy Detox Mask, because it contains lemongrass, which is like a brightening agent, I do like to apply it pretty much on my under eye. What happened to you, huh? You were red. You were red before now. Look at you, son. So that's everything from me. Please remember to thumbs up the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe because I'd love to see you in my next video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Summer, summer, summer